Ols. Welcome, uh, Unit LB students, to the Shotokan Karate Studies program. By now, you should know you've already warmed up. You've gotten the warm up that you feel your body needs. You're adequate for um, exact starting the program this morning. So let's go ahead and get started with our typical, quick, general warm up. Ready? And Ajime. Bring our heels to our glutes. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and do some high knees as well. Get my workout recorded. Here we go. High knees. You can do this slow, just like I'm doing. Again, just bringing your knees up. You can do it fast if you feel like kind of bouncing a little bit, or in your calves a little bit. Or if you want to go slow, go slow. And yummy. Yeah, All right, let's come up on our toes, stretching out our calves. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and do some body hip twists. And yame. Good. Arm up, across the side, stretching out our shoulder. side. Again, don't hold these too long. Just doing dynamic stretches here. Nothing too static. Nothing being held for too long. Reaching over. Other side. Good. Feet just wide the shoulder width. Go down and touch the floor. Go to the right. Back to center. Go to the left. Back to center. All right, make that a little wider. We're gonna go down to the right, turning up on our left heel, stretching out our hamstring. Good, now we're gonna turn to the left in a long front stance. Pushing on the quad here, pushing the knee over the toe. And now to a runner stand, or a runner stretch. Back up. All right, we're gonna do everything to the other side now. Leaning to the left, onto the right heel. Toes pointed up, stretching out your hamstring. All right, let's rotate that all the way around. Good front stance, long, deep. Pushing on the quad, pushing the knee out over the toe. Getting a good stretch. Transition that into a runner stretch. And come back to center. Come back standing. Good. Turn around, fix your key. Back to me. You win. Subidach. Ready? Yoi. Cesar. Good. 
Dojo Kun. Stolt, Jinkaku Kansei, Ni Sto, Muro Koto. Stolt, Makoto, No, Michi, O, Mamoru, Koto. Stolt, Sto, Ryoko, No, Seishin, O, Yashino, Koto. Stolt, Rei, Gi, O, Omanzuru, Koto. Stolt, Keiki, No, Yu. O, Imashimoro, Koto. stretch routine using some yoga poses. All right, so before we get started, um, make sure you have your water, make sure you have a towel. Uh, the format for today, we're gonna kind of do like a 30 second stretch, okay? And then I'll give you maybe a 10 seconds to adjust. I'll kind of give you a prompt as to what we're doing next and we'll get into that next stretch. Um, again, maybe using that 10 seconds if you need water or if you need to grab your towel, if you need to pause the video at any time, please feel free to do that as well. I'll also try to mention any modifications I can as we go through. So again, just kind of listen for my cues as we go through this. I'm going to have some music playing in the background. And again, I'll try to prompt you as much as possible as we move through this. All right, should take us about 20 to 25 minutes. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna do for a warm up right now is let's just warm up our wrist a little bit. All right, the stretch in the yoga itself, in and of itself is a warm up and a cool down. So let's go ahead and just work our wrists because we're gonna be using them quite a bit here and they don't really get a lot of uh, warm up and cool down, right? So just warm up your wrists here. I'm just twisting mine in here. Go ahead and get used to breathing. Good deep breath in, good exhale out. Switching sides. Very good. Turn that wrist in, just like this. And the other side. Very good. Okay, work those wrists around a little bit, shake them out. All right, very good. All right, so like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get some music going. Uh, again, we're looking for 30 seconds on, about 10 seconds to transition, back to 30 seconds. Looking for about 20 to 25 minutes of workout here or of stretching and yoga routine. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the music. We'll get started. I'll try to not speak as much. Uh, again, just try to relax, get into a good flow. I'm gonna turn off uh, probably these main light. Uh, maybe not, I'll keep everything on. That way you can see me as, as well as you can to make sure you have a good pose going. All right, let me get some music and we'll get started. with just a seated cat cow, okay? In, out. Arch your back as you go out. Chest rise. Thank you. 
All right, very good. Let's just do a seated twist. We're just going to go to the right. So again, sit as comfortably as you would like. We're going to go to the right. Shake that out a little bit. And now we're gonna go to the left. Try to get your good deep breaths in here. We're gonna go into a regular cat cow. Down. 
down. Stay in this folded position. So again, right leg in, tuck tight against your thigh here, and reach down. As far down as you can go. Come back up and make sure I'm still in frame for you.
Very good. We're just going to take that up and go back to a hamstring stretch. And if you want to fluctuate back and forth, that's fine as well. If you want to just hold here, that's also perfectly acceptable. If you want to transition between the two, that is also perfectly fine. Alright. I don't to go into a pyramid or a triangle, so just come up. Both legs straight. Okay? So you have that triangle or pyramid. Back as flat as you can, touching the floor. Again, try to keep those legs as straight as you can. I can tell my front is slightly bent. Good. Slowly pull out of that. We're going to a deep lunge. Okay, let's actually go on the left. All right, so just a deep stretch here. Just center myself for you if I can. If you want to go all the way down onto your butt, you can do that as well. But this is a good stretch here. I like to feel this right here through my hamstrings. Very good. All right, now we're going to take this right into a lizard pose. Not one of my favorites, but it is what it is, right? So just go down as far as you can. We're just going to go into a pigeon, so I can bring the leg in, and just go right back down to where you were. You can go deeper than this, go deeper than this. This is about as far as I can go. You want to try to keep this leg kind of at an L shape here. You don't want it to go back too far. But again, feel the stretch here. Just feel this in your glutes, your hamstring, and your quad. All right, so come up from there, and we're going to go just into a regular down dog. I'm losing my mind for the sake of love. I've been trying to be. Sit here in this deeper 
um, hamstring stretch. Or if you want to move back and forth between the two, that's fine. Just listen to your body and feel what your body needs there for this stretch. Good. All right, so now we're going to go into that pyramid. Okay, so we want you to come up. Keep your knees, legs as straight as you can. And then go down. Okay, in this stretch you'll feel all the way through your glute, all the way through your hamstrings, all the way down to your calf. stretch other side right went on that side so now I'm gonna go to the other side so just remember which side you did and go the opposite Thank you. 
come back into a knee hug. So I'm going to go to my side here for you. Laying on your back. And holding everything in here. Continuing to breathe here. Hopefully you felt pretty good as we got through a good 20, 25 minutes worth of stretching, yoga poses, right? I've got a good sweat going, so hopefully you do it as well. Hopefully you feel relaxed. Hopefully your muscles are stretched. Uh, part of strength training, which is typically what I do, typically what you see me do uh, for UNLV, um, strength training comes with stretching, right? It, it is very important to also get out and stretch. Um, it is part of building strength. So if you don't stretch your muscles, they get cramped, uh, they get sore. So it's important to at least work in stretching once or twice a week, um, a good routine of just stretching, right? So uh, obviously you can stretch after you work out uh, and you can use a foam roller and things like that and maybe take five, 10 minutes to, to do what you need to do. But you should take an actual 20 minutes of just set aside time to do nothing but stretch. Again, helps build strength helps lengthen the muscles, which again, goes back to building more muscle. All right, so again, thank you for joining me today. My name is Justin, and we'll see you in the next video.